Well, it's been hot here in Vegas. We all know it. There aren't too many other ways that we can say it. But for a lot of us, it's easy to get access to the water that we need. For others, they need a little bit more help. Right now, we have Heather Williams, who is the Director of Development for the Las Vegas Rescue Mission. And there, she's here to tell us more about the water bottle drive that you can help out with. So, Heather, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. So, for anyone that doesn't know, what does the Las Vegas Rescue Mission do? We are a uh, shelter, an emergency shelter um, in the downtown area. We provide um, shelter for men, women, and children. Mm -hmm. We uh, have a program for intact families and also single dads. And then we also have a re lighthouse recovery program mm -hmm. for six months for drug and alcohol addictions. And every night, 365 days of the year, we feed an evening meal. Oh, wow. So with how hot it's been out there, what have you mm -hmm. been seeing at the Las Vegas Rescue Mission? We've been seeing a lot of people coming, trying to get water, a lot more people coming into our shelter. In the hotter nights, we are a lot, uh, a lot busier, mm -hmm. more people will be coming in just to get that respite, get some cooler air and, um, and a good night's sleep. And mm -hmm. so anyone that is staying in our shelter, we need to have bottles of water available for them. Um, and then anyone that might be staying outside the gate or just, you know, um, in desperate need of that water, we, we have some available at the front gate for those that are passing. Wonderful. So for people that need this water, you know, obviously you need to keep up with the mm -hmm. demand and you're reaching out to the community for help. Yes. So tell us about the water bottle drive. So we started the water drive on June 23rd, which was National Hydration Day, and we're running it through until the end of August. Um, so far, we've had a, a, a great um, uh, feedback from the community. We've had a lot of people showing up with um, cases of water. I've had phone calls of people saying I'm going to deliver three pallets of water. Oh, wow. Um, but we go through, we, we can order on a weekly basis about eight pallets of water and we will go through that in a week. So we have this constant need and if we can have the community help us with that water we can put our funds towards other things. Wonderful. So are you accepting donation, financial donations as well mm -hmm. as water bottles or what's the priority right now? Um, having the actual case dropped off to okay. us is, is awesome. As soon as it gets dropped off, it gets taken at the front gate mm -hmm. and then it's distributed right away from there. But we will take financial donations and if it's marked to say that it's for water, we will put that towards uh, water donations. And those donations can be made online at VegasRescue.org. Okay, and we have about 30 seconds, but I know that mm -hmm. there's hygiene items that you're looking yes. for as well. Yes, we're always in need of hygiene items. We provide everything for someone that comes and stays in the shelter. Mm -hmm. They will um, be provided with soap, shampoo, shaving cream, brushes, combs, toothpaste, toothbrushes. So we're always in a constant need to have those items donated to. So travel size is always better. And if anyone has those leftover items from their vacations or they've stayed in a hotel, didn't use it, mm -hmm. um, if they want to drop those down to us as well, that would be amazing. Wonderful. All right, where can people find information about what you do and information about the water bottle drive as well? Okay, so we're based at 480 West Bonanza Road. And uh, again, Vegas, VegasRescue.org is our website. And uh, there's a contact uh, link on there. They can email. That will come to me and I'll be able to answer any questions. Wonderful. Heather, thank you so much for that. Yeah. And like she said, go to VegasRescue.org. They'll be collecting water until August 31st.